as I was coming around the corner, I heard some people say, Here comes the dandy darky, here he comes this way. He's a healer like a snowplow, his mouth is like a trap, and when he opens it gently, you will see a fearful gap as I laugh. <laughs> I got that here from Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I got that here from Larry. <laughs> they said his mother was a princess, his father was a prince. And it's been the apple of the right yet, and that's been a coin. But he'll be the king of that turn, a sweet by and by. And when I heard them say it, why, I laughed until I cried, and then I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hello. Hey, I saw your post. Is everything alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Anyways, my friends totally bailed on me. I'm like all alone this weekend now. Ugh, <sighs> that sucks. Are you sure you can't come? Can't. I'm still... Swamped. No, you know what? I can make it. Oh my god, really? That's amazing. I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah, see you then. Bye. Bye.
Nature was always such a calm, peaceful thing. Its calm atmosphere is helpful to clear your thoughts, which is exactly why it's the perfect place to think and talk. And that's why my dad and I chose it to be the place that we'd have the most meaningful conversations of our life. It was something both of us really needed. And things were going great until... figure out what this sound was. Neither of us really could. <laughs> so it was starting to stress us out. We took it upon ourselves to search for this sound and I made sure to lead the initiative because it was really bothering me especially but we couldn't find it. So I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Why do you think it's always so loud though? For a sound? I don't know where that was positioned there. It's like a travel spot. Traveled far and wide. Mm -hmm. It might be close to it, it might not be that loud. Mm -hmm. But where do you think it is? I don't know what it is. Instead, the sound just kept playing and it was just this big interruption and it was just getting really frustrating. But we couldn't find it, so it just kept breaking our focus and getting in the way of our conversations. And we really needed these talks because there was some things in our relationship that really needed to be fixed and this was the perfect opportunity. How can we rebuild our relationship if there was this interruption every time we tried to say anything to each other? After such a huge pause in this relationship, this is exactly what we needed, but we couldn't do it. And I, I know he wanted to do these walks just as much as me since he was the one who even suggested we do them in the first place. Now there was a sound, like what does it mean? I just have to like take a moment to concentrate. Then suddenly it was gone and neither of us knew why. Then I felt like I knew. After talking it out, my father and I found our own peace, and then when there was just peace between us, <laughs> <laughs> it was like there was this peace in nature too. Maybe it wasn't exactly a guide, but it was kind of like a, it was symbolic of us, our relationship, how it moved. And at the end, it played a beautiful melody for us. 
as we finally fixed it, the relationship. And I think the sound finally helped us discover our sound. Do you think that they're like they're not just sitting to around as adults? Make it as. With me, I I do work. I do military crap. I do school. I do family stuff. I try to help out my family. And for adults to say that we don't do anything is kind of hurtful, but not really, because coming from them, it's just nothing new. I feel like they should have more faith in us because we are the future. They shouldn't like downgrade us turn us into trash. Because I feel like just because Gen Z is doing all this stuff doesn't mean there is some mature Gen Zs out there. There's Gen Zs that are doing other things that are violent and things. But there's Gen Z that is actually trying to help the world and doing things with it. We already go through a lot. Like, putting a lot of things on us is just too much. We go through a lot. We go through anxiety, depression. And I'm not talking about the people that just say, hey, I have depression as a feeling. I'm talking about the people that actually go through it and have a hard time. Teenagers are just trying to find where they belong. Like once you enter high school, you're just, just getting into a new environment, seeing new people that you've probably never seen before, coming from a public school or coming from a private school, wherever you come from, or coming from homeschool. We're just trying to fit in. We don't know what we're doing yet. And like, I know adults and teachers try to help us in the education wise, but you can't expect something from us and you couldn't even do it yourself when you were a kid. You can't expect more than it was. It's just putting a price tag on something that wasn't even the price before. We're not experiments. You weren't an experiment. So why treat us like one? And if you see my reflection in the snow covered hills where the lands lie bring down. And if you see my reflection in the snow covered hills where the lands lie bring down.